So it looks like Nvidia's new mining GPU was just spotted. It's called the CMP170HX. I'm going to go over two articles explaining the specification and the mining results. I'll also go over the profitability as well. So thanks for tuning in. This is the Life of Miner. So the first article is from Video Cars, and it states right here, NVIDIA CMP170HX crypto mining card spotted, passive design offering 164 mega hashes hash rate. CMP170HX NVIDIA's own mining card. Most CMP crypto mining processor cards were based on board partners design, but CMP170HX is an exception. And here are two pictures of the CMP170HX. So it states right here, some of our readers might remember that we were first to report on 170HX, an alleged GA100 based CMP model that has not been released alongside turning slash gaming and peer mining cards. The 170HX has only just started appearing out in the wild. The CMP 170HX is repurposed NVIDIA A100 accelerator, which has no display connectors and no gaming functionality. NVIDIA couldn't figure out what to do with broken GA100 GPUs, which is why they are now offering this highly advanced Ampere GPU out to miners. It is the first NVIDIA's own design for a mining card as far as we know. So this is straight a mining GPU. It has no display connectors and it's not meant for gaming at all. And it looks like they're using broken GA100 GPUs and repurposing them for mining GPUs. Now continue reading. NVIDIA CMP170HX has 4480 CUDA cores, which is only 54% of all cores present in the GA100 silicon. For comparison, the GA100 and A100 features 6,000 912 CUDA cores, which are 84% of active cores. In terms of memory size, the CMP170HX has a massive reduction as well. Instead of 40GB or 80GB present in various A100 models, the 170HX only offers 8GB HBM2E memory, supposedly in 4 stacks, judging from the 4096 bit bus, and a maximum bandwidth of 1.493GB. And here are some more pictures of the CMP170HX. So as you can see, it's a very thick card. So it looks like they're combining a bunch of broken GPUs together to make this one card. So continue reading. NVIDIA wanted to ensure that CMP170HX has no purpose to gamers and researchers who might have wanted to use it computing power instead of data center and peer series, which undoubtedly are much more expensive. In order to achieve that, NVIDIA has limited the PCIe interface bandwidth to version 1 and only 4 lanes, despite physically being 16 lanes. This would be a severe bottleneck to many workloads, not just for crypto mining. So it's not even useful for data centers. It's strictly just meant for crypto mining. According to GP GPU-Z data, the GPU has a base clock of 1140 MHz and a boost clock of 1410 MHz. The board is detected as device ID of 20C2 and it's using NVIDIA's 471.41 drivers. So this is what GPU-Z detected. And I'll go over the specs in a second. The current BIOS version does not support memory overclocking as of July 28th, which blocks further power optimizing for mining. This is important as memory speed is by far the most important thing in mining. Now just be aware, memory speed is just important in Ethereum mining. When it comes to other algorithms or coins, usually the core is more important. But for Ethereum mining, memory is the most important. And here are some more pictures of how thick it looks. In the actual mining test using the fhash algorithm, the GPU offers up to 164 mega hashes without optimizations, just as much as Nvidia promised in their official specification data sheet. It is nowhere near 200 mega hashes and it might be hard to reach such a hash rate, the author notes. So according to the mining test, it looks like it's getting around 164 mega hashes, pulling around 250 watts. Now, if you want to compare that with an RTX 3090, a RTX 3090 gets around 125 mega hashes, pulling around 350 watts. So this is definitely a lot more efficient than the best gaming GPU out there as of right now. And scrolling down a little bit, you'll see Nvidia's crypto mining cards that were already released. So this is the CMP 30HX, which gets around 26 mega hashes pulling 125 watts. The CMP 40HX gets around 36 mega hashes pulling 185 watts. The CMP 50HX gets around 45 mega hashes pulling around 250 watts. The CMP 90HX gets around 86 mega hashes pulling around 320 watts. And now the CMP 
170HX gets around 164 mega hashes pulling around 250 watts. I'm going to go back to the previous picture. So according to this picture, the CMP 170HX gets around 164 mega hashes pulling around 250 watts. It looks like it uses a CPU 8 pin connector with two times PCIe 8 pin adapters. So the memory size is 8 gigabytes. It looks like it will be available in 2022 around the second quarter. It has 4480 CUDA cores. It has a boost clock of 1.4 gigahertz and the PCI connector is Gen 1 times 4. The memory type is HBM2E and the memory bandwidth is 1.5 TBs. So it looks like this may be one of the most efficient Ethereum mining cards out there. Now the article states that this card was not tuned. So you may be able to get a little bit more hash rates and dropping the power a little bit more. But for other algorithms or coins, this card may not be as good. But only time will tell once someone gets this card and tests those other algorithms out. Okay, so the next article is by Tom's Hardware, and it states right here, NVIDIA CMP 170HX in the wild with 164 mega hashes of Ethereum mining performance. So it states right here, reports on NVIDIA aiming to repurpose its A100 compute accelerator as a crypto mining processor accelerator surfaced as early as March of this year. The intermediate radio silence has now been broken with purported photographs and screenshots of a repurposed A100 as a rebranded CMP 170HX. There's plenty to choose over but as this isn't an official announced product take the detail with a bit of salt and here's another picture of the cmp hx 100 it looks like it's the same picture from before while initial reports pointed toward a cmp 220 hx branding with performance in the range of 215 mega hashes for ethereum mining the final results delivered by the cmp 170 hx is slightly less impressive with a tested card delivered with a tested card delivering around 165 mega hashes in a 250 watt envelope it is still extremely impressive compared to the CMP 50HX accelerator that fails in the same 250 watt envelope, though that card can only output 45 mega hashes, less than a third of the CMP 170HX performance. Thus, Nvidia seems to still have some headroom for the eventual 220HX release, at least judging from these specifications on offer in this 170HX. So if you don't remember, there was a rumor of an Nvidia CMP 220HX, which was offering around 210 to 250 mega hashes. It looks like that card is still a rumor but down the road it may still come out so continue reading being a cryptocurrency mining oriented card nvidia cut everything that wasn't strictly necessary for a typical mining workload besides the aforementioned headless design the cmp 170 hx features only 4480 cuda cores 54 percent of ga's 100 design cores its hbm2e memory has been reduced to the bare minimum for ethereum mining with 8 gigabytes hmb2e memory across 2 gigabyte stacks delivering a maximum of 1400 493 gigabytes of bandwidth across its 4096 bit bus. Nvidia even slaughtered the PCIe bus on this card. The link is limited to a PCIe 1.1 x4. This offering only 250 megabytes bandwidth across its PCIe bus. For reference, modern graphics cards with PCIe 4.0 times 16 achieves 32 gigabytes across the bus. However, mining workloads aren't dependent on the bus speed for performance. While most other application users might want to use this card for, like, say, actual ML and typical HPC workloads will thus be rendered virtually impossible to process at a high enough throughput to make it worthwhile. So like before, it looks like Nvidia cut down the card as much as possible just to make it efficient in Ethereum mining. These alterations allow Nvidia to sell this card solely for cryptocurrency mining at a premium while keeping institutions, data centers, and even tech savvy consumers focused on a company's A series offering also at a premium. And here's another picture, but it looks like in this picture, the CMP 170 HX is getting around 153 mega hashes, pulling around 190 watts. But maybe the card is just ramping up because in this picture, it looks like it's getting around 164 mega hashes, pulling around 250 watts. And this picture was from the picture before. So continue reading. GPU Z screenshot of the card, which has 170 HX added to cover whatever name has been assigned to the card in the identifier string. Identify it with the 20C2 device ID. The card was running on Nvidia's 471.41 driver version. The core clock are set to 1140 megahertz base and 1410 megahertz boost this is likely in the sweet spot for the performance and power consumption for this particular accelerator since more memory speeds are the defining factor in cryptocurrency mining performance this also enables fully passive design since in memory processing is less heat intensive than in core processing so like i mentioned before this card may be only good for ethereum mining but for mining other algorithms or other coins it's not going to be too great because the other algorithms slash coins are more core intensive compared to memory.
Okay, so now going over the profitability. Now just beware, the profits do change daily. It's based on the price of Ethereum, the difficulty, and the block rewards. Now, as of right now, the price of Ethereum is around $3,789.08. And jumping on what to mine, for the CMP 170HX, the mega hashes is at 164 mega hashes, and it's pulling around 250 watts. Now, where I live, I do pay about 10 cents per kilowatt hours. And if I calculate, it looks like you're going to be earning around $15.28 a day before electricity. And if you do pay 10 cents per kilowatt hours, it looks like you're going to be earning around $14.68 after electricity. But like the previous article stated, this card may not be fully tuned. So the efficiency may be a little bit better once fully tuned. Okay, so in conclusion, this may be one of the best efficient mining card out there. Now, I did create this chart showing all the NVIDIA CMP HX cards that came out or that is rumored. So looking at this chart, the CMP 170 HX gets around 164 mega hashes pulling around 250 watts. Its efficiency is at 65.60%, which beats out every single graphics card out there. And if you do want to grab this chart with every graphics card out there mining Ethereum, join the Discord and it'll be available in there. Now, the thing about the CMP HX card cards i try to order the older ones before and in order to do so you have to buy them in batches of like thousand plus so obviously these cmp hx cards aren't meant for regular consumers they're only meant for big facilities that are willing to buy batches of these cmp gpus now you can buy them secondhand but you're gonna buy them at a major premium so it's not worth it so that's why no regular consumers have these cmp hx cards because they're only offered to mining facilities unless you're willing to pay a huge premium for them and more than likely it's going to be the same thing for the cmp 170 hx now the price we still have no idea so more than likely these cards will be very expensive but these will be one of the best cards mining ethereum now another problem is the merge is supposed to happen in the second quarter of next year anyway so by the time these cards are mass produced and come out ethereum mining may already be over but knowing the ethereum devs the merge and pos may be delayed even further and if so these gpus will be one of the most efficient GPUs mining Ethereum out there. But let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. And do you think Nvidia is smart making these mining Pacific graphics cards? Or do you think it's too late? Okay, so there you have it. This is NVIDIA's new Ethereum mining GPU, which is the CMP170HX. Now, if you want to check out the articles, I'll have the links in the description below. And if you have any questions you want to ask me live, I do stream live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the life of miner every Sunday, 2.30 p.m. US Eastern time. And if you do need any type of help, definitely join the Discord. I or someone knowledgeable will definitely help you out. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this video. Thumbs if you enjoyed it. Sub if you decided to see what's next. But of course, thanks for watching and always happy mining. Thanks for watching the life of a miner. This is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You don't want me to get angry and turn Super Saiyan, so make sure you subscribe to the life of a miner. I'm also the narrator. Next time on the life of a miner.